Does anyone remember Xbox saying there would be no price increases on Game Pass after the acquisition of Activision Blizzard? Hmm. Well, Xbox has lied and let us all down again. That's not all. There's going to be a big price increase across the board on all of the Game Pass tiers. And the standard version of Game Pass is now no longer getting games on day one. Let's jump into this mess and make it all clear for you because it is clear as mud and I've had to read a ton of things to understand what is going on and then at the end I'll tell you my recommendation of what you should do. Xbox announced all these changes on their support and billing page but it was as clear as mud as typical Xbox communications are but luckily Clobrill on X has produced this awesome one pager which makes sense of it all. So let's discuss all the tiers briefly, what you get, what you don't get, and then how to beat these price increases. So first off, we've got Game Pass Core, which is the one that was launched, I think just last year, it seems like, it doesn't seem that long ago. And this gives you online multiplayer, access to about 25, 30 games, a curated library as they call it, and you get some member deals and discounts, but who cares about them? Like. Seriously, nobody's subscribing to Game Pass just for them. Then we've got the new tier, which is Game Pass Standard, which is taking over from Game Pass Console, which is kind of good because Game Pass Console was garbage. It actually didn't even have access to online multiplayer. I don't know why anyone would have signed up for that. But the thing here, which makes Game Pass Standard garbage also, is it does not have access to day one games on Game Pass. So for example, when Black Ops 6 releases, it's not going to be available on Game Pass Standard. What the hell, Xbox? That was kind of the whole point of Game Pass. You can tell Xbox are putting all their eggs into this Game Pass basket and just trying to milk everyone for as much money as they can. But this is where it gets a bit more interesting as well. You have access to the Game Pass catalog, which is hundreds of games. So I don't know if that just means all the games which are there right now, but you don't get access to the day one games. You might get access to them in the future, but we don't know how long that time period will be. Will it be six months? Will it be a year? Who knows? This is just kind of weird to me. This is like subscribing to like Netflix or like Apple TV or something and basically not getting all the new TV shows and movies, just getting movies that are a couple of years old. Like what? Who wants that? To me, that is the whole uh, like unique purpose of owning Game Pass is getting the day one games instead of forking out $70 for them. But anyways, we've got Game Pass Ultimate now. That is now $20 a month. Sorry, Game Pass Standard is $15 a month, which is insane. $20 a month now for Game Pass Ultimate. What did that used to be? That's went up a fair bit as well. So Game Pass Ultimate used to be $16.99 per month and it's now $19.99 per month, okay. And we were right about Game Pass Core, just for your info, that used to be $60 and it's now $75, oof. But Game Pass Ultimate, the most expensive tier, does have everything. You get access to perks and discounts, you get access to EA Play and Riot Game Benefits. I don't think I've ever used any Riot Game Benefits, not sure what that is. But you also get access to Xbox Cloud Gaming. These last three you don't get at all on Game Pass Standard. Hmm. But this is where it gets a little bit interesting with PC Game Pass throwing its, you know, its gloves in the ring here. For $11.99 a month, obviously you get free multiplayer or online. All hail PC Master Race, that's the way it should be. They should bin having to pay for online multiplayer, in my opinion. But we've got Xbox to thank for that because they were the ones that launched that on console with Xbox Live back in the day. And then Sony followed suit like sheep, which I wish they didn't. Uh, uh, PS3, who remembers PS3 back in the day? You didn't have to play for online multiplayer. That was the way it should be. But anyways, PC Master Race are still holding out strong. Long may they live. But they get access to member discounts. They get access to the PC library. Obviously, there's different games on PC and on console. But they get access to day one games as well for only $12 versus $20. This just seems like Xbox is taking the piss out of console owners. So for $8 more a month is basically what you're paying to get access to day one games versus on PC Game Pass. So if you have a PC and you have an Xbox, 
and you're not too fussed about where you play your games, you can save yourself $8 a month by cancelling it and just playing Black Ops 6 or whatever the games are on your PC instead of on your console. I don't know why they're doing this. Xbox just don't seem to like consoles. They seem to be hellbent on destroying their Xbox console business and just moving everyone to this subscription service where you just rent everything and own nothing. Kind of sucks, but that's the way they're going. And you can see here they get access as well to the EA Play benefits and stuff like that, but they don't get access to Xbox Cloud Gaming, which is weird. I thought they would have still given them access to that, but that only comes with Ultimate. So now you know this, how do you beat these price rises? So no matter what Xbox Game Pass tier you are using, I recommend you go for Game Pass Ultimate if you're using console and PC. If you're PC only or not fussed then you just want to save some money, go for PC Game Pass. It'll save you a bunch of money. But whichever tier you go for, you want to use my affiliate links down below in the description and you want to stack up your account with Xbox Game Pass gift cards. So for example here, we have got a whole bunch of gift cards which have a huge discount off them already. Links down below in the description. Like I said, it's a big help out to the channel and you'll get an amazing discount. You can see here, you just pick your region. So this is for Europe and UK, here's US and here's worldwide and it's the exact same price. So I'll click on this worldwide and this is where it gets a little bit trickier but it's still really worth it. You buy a 12 month Xbox Game Pass Core gift card no matter you know what tier you're on because it's pretty much the cheapest one you can get but if you have game pass ultimate like i do i would still buy this and then stack this on my account and then it transfers over to being a game pass ultimate gift card basically but at a reduced rate so instead of getting 12 months i found out the new uh, conversion rates and here they are here so Xbox Game Pass Core and PC Game Pass conversion ratio. So any remaining time will convert to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, just like I said, because we have an active Game Pass Ultimate account at a ratio of three to two and be rounded up to the next full day. So for every three months worth of Game Pass Core you put on your account, you will get two months of Game Pass Ultimate. Pretty freaking good. So we can see here, this is 12 months so instead of getting 12 months we would get nine months for 35.99 which is my price here in the uk if we switch this to us if it will let me don't know why it's not letting me do it. oh gbp right us dollars da -da -da, let's see there you go 46 dollars how good is that and then just buy a couple of these activate them on your account and you will be sorted. If you're wondering how to do this step by step, check out this video on screen right now where I show you how I did it a few years ago when I stacked three years worth of Game Pass Ultimate on my account.